GP resin was engineered for fiberglassing primarily, but we can also use this resin for casting. This is uh, an antler it's taken from a silicon mold with a fiberglass jacket. So not only are we using GP resin for the supporting jacket, we can use it for the casting as well. Now one of the great things about polyester resin, particularly GP resin, is that it has a translucent quality to it, which lends itself perfectly to, um, to adding colours. As you can see here, this is the natural colour of the resin. Not only is it very cheap, it's very practical and readily available. Here we've used uh, a layering technique where we pour a layer down first for the pink, then the drops of white, and then fill it with more GP resin, and then add a little bit of pink on top with a little bit of excess resin that we have. This is a marbling technique. These marbling techniques are made by combining different colours into one pot and then pouring it into a mould. Alternately, we can add the colours separately into the mould and then drag sticks um, through it to essentially draw with the resin. This is another layering technique here. We use three colours. First we, we just add one colour and then we add another and then we add another until as liquids they flow over each other and blend at the edges but still retain the quality and the essence of each individual colour. Here is a similar method. You can be as bold or as subtle as you like with the different colours that you use and it'll give you different effects. The beauty of this technique is that you don't get the same thing twice so each piece is unique. Here I've used a layering technique combined with a marbling technique. So first we pour the black dot, then we pour the blue using a toothpick to get the definition of the iris and then fill it up with the white. 